Hi, and welcome to episode five of Root Beer Library, where we wear the frothy stash. I'm your host, Matthew, and today we're going to be tasting Sioux City Root Beer. Let's go ahead and pop the top and get into it. All right, so on today's episode, we are tasting Sioux City Root Beer. Um, taking a look at the bottle, nothing fancy. It's just a brown bottle. It's got a label on it with a cowboy on it. I remember their bottles back in the day being a little bit more on the fancy side, having, uh, I believe it was raised glass with the cowboy on it. Uh, maybe when they first came out, probably right around 87 uh, is when that happened. Um, Sioux City was kind of one of the first kind of s small brewery for root beers on the market. You know, before that it was primarily like, you know, your dad's, your A&W, um, those particular root beers. Uh, the big name root beers are the companies that own the big names. Um, and then this, I think, was one of the, s the smaller ones that came out about that time and then we started to see more at least show up in the stores. They were around, they just weren't as readily available um, as uh, some of the other bigger names, basically. All right, so enough of that. Let's go ahead and pop this thing. My frosty mug is starting to unfrost, but I did um, grab a frosty one out of the freezer, and of course, we're rocking the Chiefs today. Let's open this up. Ah, oh, man, that's good. Good spice, I like that. All right, let's pour it. Let's see. I think, you know, having the chilled mug really helps bring up that. And I guess my apologies uh, for the last four days. I wasn't using a chilled mug uh, in those episodes. So I may go back and do like a, a retro Thursday and bring the chilled mug into it so that we can get that. That's kind of awesome. Um, get that part into it. So uh, I'm giving them their fair share. All right, let's uh, smell this. Mm. Now, it might be a little bit unfair from my tasting standpoint because I've had this um, so many times and grew up with it a little bit. I, you know, growing up in Scottsdale, Arizona, anything with cowboys on it was kind of a big deal. And I do remember getting this at, um, there was a little, or, or, you know, the soda fountains and, and we would get root beer floats and banana splits and it was like the real deal. You sit on the counter and you'd, hey, Frank, give me a root beer float and, you know, that's what would come up and this is typically, if I remember correctly, this is what we got. I mean, at least in the late 80s and that's more or less when I could take myself there um, and do that and so I'm, I'm a little biased, I guess, in that sense because I've got childhood memories. But man, this smells really good. Good spice. Just overall, just really well, well put together. Color is, is just a nice dark creamy brown, just a nice caramel look to it. Um, it looks really, really inviting uh, as I sit here and stare at it. So, um, yeah, let's give it a taste. And that brings back memories. And it has been a while since I've had this. It's probably been a couple of years um, since I've had this particular root beer. But really, great smell, great color, great color to it. Really good aftertaste. It's just got a, a really nice... Um, candy taste to it. I, it's not really like the root beer candy. It doesn't really taste like that. It's just got a nice sugary uh, after taste to it. The perfect blend of a little bubbliness uh, that you get at the end with the sugar and the flavor that stays back and hits the palate and it just really drives home the flavor. Right now I can kind of still taste it a little in my mouth. And that's exciting to me. That, that kind of makes me want to go back for more, but at the same time, I'm like, oh, I'm still enjoying it. Where uh, I've had some root beers that just kill, you know, there's nothing. At the taste buds, when you're done, you're like, I just got to keep pounding it to, to try and maintain that nice flavor. And so this is pushing through. I really didn't even want to spit it out. Uh, it's just got such a good flavor and taste to it. Mmm. 
really, really well blended um, root beer here. And basic ingredients, nothing uh, off the wall. Purified carbonated water, pure cane sugar, caramel color, sodium benzenite, uh, and some preservatives in there. And of course, there's always you know the little other little flavors that are in there, but. That's pretty much the deal on this. Uh, really wonderful root beer. I can't say anything negative about this at all. This is definitely a home run for me. Always has been um, since the late 80s uh, when I started drinking it. This has always been a good one. If I'm in a store and I'm not sure, uh, it's definitely a go-to uh, for me or at least has been in the past. I will be enjoying the rest of this one and probably picking up a six pack to enjoy with some of the games this year as the Chiefs do some whoop ass on the rest of the league. Unfortunately, they lost their first preseason game, but it's preseason. So there you have it, uh, a little bit on Sioux City. I recommend it off with, it's just, it's just a great root beer. So, all right guys, tomorrow on our episode of six, we are going to be tasting Dog and Suds root beer. I have not had this one. I've seen it in the store, the label. So tomorrow we're gonna get into Dog and Suds and taste that. Well, thank you guys for hanging out with me today. Don't forget to like and share. Hope this has been a good review for you. Please leave comments down below. Constructive criticism is always welcome. Thanks again, and we will see you tomorrow for episode six. Excuse me, Root Beer. Uh, I'm Matt. This has been uh, episode five of Root Beer Library, where we wear the frothy stash. Catch you on the next one.